All right, this is Nabs, and we're back with another SnowRunner. We'll see how many times I wreck, crash, and roll another truck in, in this one. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and we're going to, on this one, do a mission for more fuel. We got to get all the way across over to here. But first, we have to uh, pick up the fuel from the gas station over here. So, simple run to the gas station, pick up some uh, two things of fuel, and deliver over here to the Foster's. Yeah, Foster's house. Looks like we're going to be doing a path along this way. Uh, so, we're going to be going back up, back up, up and down from the shop, from the garage, and... I'm thinking we're going to take this long, windy way around. I think that looks like the safest way to go. I've traversed part of this trail before, so it should be relatively safe. We're going to take the... Uh, what, what truck is this? Is this the white truck, right? Yeah, it's the white Western Star. So we're going to take that bad boy out there. Haven't done much with this, this long nose truck yet. Not turn on a dime. Oh, well, we're gonna head off. See how many times I get lost, get stuck. Uh, or see if I can do a mission without failure. Last one I did, I did without failure. I was kind of shocked. I got all the way to uh, what was it, a simple run to service parts to the well and did it without getting stuck, wrecked, or getting lost. I was quite amazed. I only had to use one vehicle. I don't know what to do. That doesn't happen for me. I usually get two, three trucks involved, end up doing the tow change from greatness and, well, like getting this truck uh, repaired. Uh, I was still wrong. Still didn't get it done right. It took me forever to get this, uh, get this thing out of in a repaired condition and then towed it back up to the garage. Took like a three hour tour. Yeah, it was a three hour tour. But, got done. I am stubborn event, if not everything else. I am a stubborn individual. Alright, let's see what we can load here. Cargo management. Yeah. Bang. Brakes. Oh, got to turn the brakes on that way. All right, let's see here. Cargo management. I need two. Not enough space for more. That's good. All right. Gonna back it on up and top off the fuel and get it going. Long nose bad boy turned around the corner. going in the right direction. We're going to try to go the route with the least amount of, um, of mud and places to get stuck. We do have 300 liters of fuel, so we do have some options as far as uh, worrying about fuel consumption, but I think we should be okay as long as we avoid the high mud you know, getting stuck in the mud and me having to drag out another truck to get out there. Yeah, that's the right way. Pushes through the water. Boy, that a... Bounces like she's just ridiculously loaded. Look at that thing. Love the dice on this on this truck. Alright, she's making it up the hill without a problem, so there's plenty of torque for the for the load we got on it. No big deal there. Which is what I expected. That's why the, the white white star's there. I haven't upgraded the motor yet, but you know it's it's heavy but does have a lot of torque and power to it, so it should be pretty good to go for this trip. As long as again I don't roll it in a ditch and watch all the cargo fall out. 
Yes, I've done that twice now. Not this run, just twice so far. I watched cargo just come rolling out the back. Because I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Yeah. Not on stuff like this. I ain't ever done stuff like this. I stuck to roads, pavement. That was enough of a challenge. Dealing with Chicago and, and with South Wisconsin, Southeast Wisconsin drivers and Texas drivers and one run to California that I won't repeat. Yeah. That's enough of a challenge. I, I don't need the terrain to fight me also. Those, I avoided the snow when driving much. Just the bus the one time I really the snow. That's the nice thing about it being a summer job. There's no winter. Uh, that's right. I avoided the winter and the snow and stuff that would have really made driving a challenge. Well, besides the other drivers. Hey, really. Sorry, work email. They want to keep track of us, and they should. But I am not in working hours. All right, we're this is going pretty smooth so far, which is it should. We're on dry land. Let's see, where's my turn at? Let's uh, yeah, let's get rid of those markers because yep. That's what I thought. I missed the turn. I missed the turn. Okay, when we get through here, we're going to turn here. And then we're going to turn here. Yep. Alright, so now i got to back up. See? Not smooth. I make lots of mistakes. Missing the turn is just a little one. Watch, I'll probably roll this one into the lake. And it's fuel. It's oil and fuel. So that would make it a... Uh, oil spill. Oh boy, that would be so smart on my part. Check the caps on these things before I roll it off the mountain. Roll it into the lake. Good. Yeah, I think the caps are going to hold i to be more worried about the sidewalls not holding. Hold. Alright, now I did this with a fairly empty truck last time. And I smashed her up good this time. Wow, this truck does not turn at all well. Yep, lost the tire there last time too. And that truck turned well and didn't have near as much cargo in it. Tires aren't on the ground. That's nice. Big hole. Yeah, they really ought to put some mud in that hole because we hate to see a truck go into the water. But I avoided the water this time. Woohoo! I'm uh, making progress. Maybe I'm getting to be a better driver in this game. What do you think? Uh, no, I don't think so. We're not going to the farm. Let's take out the sign. Can we hit the sign? Can we hit the sign? Oh, I pushed it over. Uh, let's see, let's go to the left of the mud and then re-angle for the rocks. There we go. Smooth! Thread that needle good. Alright. Oh, bridge. Let's use the bridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's right, that's right. That's alright. That's alright. Nice. Let's move on the bridges. Cool, cool beans, smooth as silk. That's the way we like it. Without a challenge. Thread the needle when you have to. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just hit the left. Slam into the rocks, why don't I? And that's pretty smooth, all right. Slide to the left there, and down we go. Looks like a big wet mess down here and yeah yeah down 
on, shift it. Come on, grind away, grind away. And winch it up a little. A little extra torque in it. Little help, little help. No problem. Alright. Still on track. Wanted to make sure. Saw that downhill in the lake and was going like, um, I want to make sure I'm going the right way because this could be really hard to recover from. Let gravity do its thing, preferably not roll me down. All right, and then we're gonna be need to hold that thing to the right. There we go. Trying to run up, stay away from the edge. Good. Stay away from the edge. Heavy load, steep angle, not good. Uh, not good on the equations for not falling in. I really gotta tell you. Uh, me, if it was real life, I'd have been tying a winch off for safety. case you don't make it or the mud gives away you can still hold on to the rig and yourself all right we're looking pretty good here we're going to go up this mud portion and then we're going to be making a little slide to the left we're doing good we're looking good looking good oh now we're not looking good we're looking like we're the deeper mud than it should than we thought it was gonna be. And we got out. Yeah we did. Hesitated there for a second like ah uh, maybe not. Maybe you maybe we fooling you. You don't have enough tire for this maneuver. Alright. We're doing good here. Let's go avoid the ruts to the left. Oh, a lawnmower coming by. That's nice. All right, so here we are. We're right where we're supposed to be. Crawl to the left. Oh, wow. Did you see that thing sink? Jeez. Uh, let's see. Let's take the grass to the right. Maybe we can avoid digging in it into the into the ruts. There we go. Get a little speed. Crush over some trees. You know, be environmentalist. Okay. There's a blue tag, and we're going to go to the right of the blue tag. By Wayne's point, so that we can go around the thickest of the mud. I have missed my entry point. It is back here. Beep, beep, beep. Back her up, back her up, back her up. Right into the mud. That's right, right into the mud. Let's go up the rock hill. Wow, that rock didn't give it all. That is the most solidest loose rock I've ever seen. Maybe it's really a concrete mound with some pebbles. A pebble uh, aggregate. One of those exposed pebble aggregates. Finishes on. Because it didn't move at all. Ooh. That's not, this is sandy material. That's not good. Well, I'm not digging into it yet, so we'll take it. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Ooh, wow, I did. Chuck did not like that at all. Alright, let's see here. We are going up, 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 and down. There we go. Right between the trees? Nope. Tag the tree. No field goal there. I mean, it still went between the trees, so it would have counted, but it wasn't a clean field goal. The bounce during, let's see. Swish back, so if we go straight between the trees, we can avoid some of this mud bog, maybe? ruts that's good always good to avoid the deep rut when possible oh oh no 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 oh I lost the cargo I lost the cargo can I reload pack cargo
Remove cargo. Can I pack the cargo? Unknown problem. No, I can't pick up the cargo. Oh. Well, I said I was going to fall, and I did. Ah. Well, I'll pick this back up somewhere coming back over here and let it fall again where you guys can get to see me fail again. So I'll uh, cut back to me getting back here. Well, we're back. And I almost lost it again. Right over here. About lost the whole load. And another Juan Valdez a second time. Except, you know, on land instead of in the water. This has been anything but a smooth returning trip. I should have video recorded the whole thing and fast forward it so you can see how much trouble this thing really is. Apparently my first run was smooth by luck. Luck alone. Let's see, we want to mark that spot and see if we can get back to it without losing it before I lost it the last, the last time because that has been a challenge. Because I got the hiccups now. Alright, we're getting back into where we've been. Enjoy driving through the trees. Make environmentalists so happy with me. The concrete rock pile. And now let's see if we can not lose our load in the mud here. As I watch the whole thing twist. Let's see. This route took the inner route last time around here somewhere and that's how I lost it there's a lot of mud up there so I'm guessing it was somewhere up here I don't know I removed the cargo so I have no markers all right I got stuck in the mud before I did the last time that's nice Oh, helps helps if I put in the all-wheel drive. Maybe that's why I had so much trouble. I had it on the last time when I flipped it, so... I know that wasn't because of my stupidity last time. That's caused my trouble this time. Alright, down we go. Oh yeah, I remember this. I got the field goal this time. Didn't scratch the post. Alright, so I know we got up through here. I had one land marker back there. This doesn't look like it. It looks like it up there. I cut to the... Whoa. Wow, she really shifted the whole truck. It was up here where I got uh, caught in the mud and rolled it. It was, I think, right there. I tried to cheat, cutting it on the inside, and it rolled into the, uh, the trench, the uh, bog that they made somebody made and or that was part of the game that was already here in the pathway and I lost it I lost all the oil look at that let's let's go to the left of this let's avoid that steep angle there sure it would be fine but let's not find out shall we and let's not find out if getting it caught into this mud will get me stuck either because I'm sure this one here will Another pathway. Oh, we're a long way off. Looks like there was a route uh, that I missed. Or maybe that's it right there. That doesn't look any better, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. All right. So let's see. What if I go to the right? Can I get through those trees? Enough room for me? Maybe uh, take a little driving. I think. Oh, ow. That was a hard turn to the left, and I didn't mean to do. Don't know if there's enough room for me. 
Oh, there is not enough room for me. Out and I'm back it on out here, right? Woohoo! Stubbornness pays off. Of course, my stubbornness is what got me into trouble in the first place, but we won't mention it. Oh yes, I tried to avoid it for something that took me less than a minute to actually go through. I'm a winner. Alright, now we're back on track. Only used quite a bit of fuel to do it. And why is it tagging that location? We're going to here. So, not too far left to go, just a little up the hill. I always love it when it does that stop thing. Changing gears, just stay in gear. Don't try to go into second, stay in first. Oh, it's shifted into second. Uh, let's go up the hill. And we made it! I only lost, caused an oil spill once. Start tracking, exit. Cargo man is. Oh, wait, that's solid foundation. Oh no, I didn't go to well. Oh. I missed more fuel. See, this is what I mean by I get lost. I sure did. I went to the wrong spot. All that work, and I did the wrong turn. Now I gotta undo it all. This is why I don't show you everything. All right, can we get through there through here? It looks like a muddy path. This is definitely a muddy path. Well, now we'll go to the right location. Practice makes perfect. This will let you know what to do and where not to go. And I showed you where not to go. And how not to do it. Uh, come on, big doggy, get through the mud. There we go, she got up there. grinded through the mud pit there where I got stuck that's right look at all that mud I made over there just to avoid this 20 feet about 50 feet avoid flipping over because we know I know how to do that Ruts right here. Uh, I missed. Couldn't avoid. Couldn't avoid the ruts. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Well, don't do that. Man. That's how you lose. Create another oil spill. And the white star just keeps grinding away. Jerked it to the right. What the? How did it do that? Bounced it right off the tree. Let's see if we can't get it out of here without too much trouble. And we are down to half of our fuel left. Let's go out here. Risk the unlevel surface. It's a little stiffer surface. Right, put her back on the tracks. There we go. And there's the 
there's a concrete rock pile. Just pick a gear. Man, I should really put it in manual so it stays in gear. right way. Let's make sure we're on the go in the right way this time. Yes, we are. Right. I marked the correct location this time. And going up here to the left. Avoid the ruts. Get on the grass. Get on the grass. Oh, it looks like get the grass is being torn up too. Is there enough items to pull us up here? I uh, hope we don't need to find out. Uh, looks like we're going to. Yes, perfect winch point. Okay, not perfect enough. enough to get us up to that portion. On to the next turn. Oh. Deep rut. Let's avoid the deep rut there. Alright, we avoided the deep rut and no trees. Isn't that nice? frame twist. Alright, I think this is it. Yes, it is. $1,900. Only lost two techs. Well, Two loads. Lord knows how many tanks that is. So we completed the one. We brought him more fuel. We'll pick up another mission next time. This nabs. Later.